welcome back hope you're all well today i've got different sort of video for you i'm going to talk about trench coat for pitted ladies i have selected four trench coat from high street ranging from 50 pounds to 80 pounds so and also in different lengths i have actually selected a trench coat in same color however non pitted ladies you can also watch this video because i've only actually got one petit trench and yeah, I'm going to let you know why I actually only chose one petty trench and rest of the three are just the normal trench coat, which, you know, everyone can wear. I always find very hard to find, you know, trench coat for petty. There are a few retailers who offer, you know, trench coat for petty, but I still find we as a petty ladies have very limited choice in comparison to other ladies. So my petty ladies, this is for you. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and find this useful. What I'm going to do is with this video, I'm going to section this into the three section the first section would be where I would talk about the composition material of this um, trench coat and then I'll move on to how to select or what to look for when you are buying trench coat and thirdly how to wear trench coat and yeah so that is how I'm gonna format this video and uh, let's start off with this one this one is ASOS one this is the only petite trench coat I have got for you my ladies and yeah so um, I'm going to talk about the composition I've got note here because <laughs> I can't remember composition of every four trench coat. Obviously, I have to have like photographic memory or, you know, a really strong memory to remember everything. So I've got this written down here. This one obviously is in tan color and I've tried to, like I said before earlier, every coat here is in similar color and I've kind of like looked for a classic trench. And yeah, this one is in tan color. And the composition is 83% polyester, 17% cotton. And the price for this one is £55. The second one is this one from New Look. And yeah, this is the one from New Look I bought. I was trying to get my notes. Uh, New Look one. New Look one, um, obviously the color is the camel color. And yeah, this one, the composition is 100% polyester. The price is $39.99. This is actually the cheapest one. So the third one I have is a Zara one. And it is this one. It is in tan color. And the price here, it's here. It's $69.99. Quite pricey for a trench. And yeah, I'm going to read the composition. The composition is... Where's the Zara one? It's here. Okay, so... The composition is 93% viscose, 7% polyester. The fourth one I have is from ASOS again, and it is this one. This is oversized one, and it is the longest one in here. And yeah, this one is in stone color, and the composition, let me read out. It's 98% cotton. 2% elastic. So that was all about the composition color. Now I'm going to move on to what you should look for when you are buying trench and i'm going to take this trench coat as an example put this on and then talk to you about what specifically you should look for while you are buying trench okay so i'm almost there just need to put this button so basically when you are going to buy trench what you have to look for is obviously fit which is no brainer and yeah when you are looking for a um, trench make sure that you know it fits you it flatters your body and another thing to look while you're looking for fit is the shoulder the shoulder seam suit start here and then exactly end where your arm starts so it should start from right here from your neck where the shoulder starts like that area right there and then it should stop here that is perfect also another important thing that you should consider while buying trench is that you know your underarms here that area is not too tight and it is easier to move your arm while you're wearing trench so that is very very important you know you don't want to look very uncomfortable and look like a, actually like a robot like mm -hmm, you can't move your hands at all another one is obviously length and it depends on you know your preference i actually prefer trench coat which are longer because i live in england and it can get very cold 
and you know rainy so I prefer trench coat with a long length. I actually like my trench coat to be fashionable as well as functional at the same time. The third one is to look for gun flap if you are going for a classic trench. The gun flap is this area here, that little bit area, that square here with a button. This little piece which hangs right over the chest area was actually used by the military to rest their guns so that is why it's called gun flap and the history of the trench coat obviously is it comes from military another one is to look for color and again this is your personal preference if you look at high street these days oh, you can find so many trench in different colors there are so many options for everyone and yeah that is really really good but whenever I'm going for a trench coat I prefer a classic one and that is the reason why I seem to gravitate always towards this sort of tan color and also check on the back this one has got a flap on the back and I prefer again flap on the back if you want to go for a classic one just go for a flap on the back and yeah it just looks much more classic so yeah the last one I have for you is to look for the color I love my trench to have a big color this one has got a notch label and I can you know if you can see I can put this up as well which is good I hope you find this useful all this information that I gave you I hope it was not much of information overload so now I'm going to wear all of the strange one by one and then show you what the fit feels like and talk about more about the quality and all that sort of you know boring stuff so I need to zoom out so the first one I am wearing is Asus one petite one and this is what it looks like I'm just going to put the bottoms on so that you guys can see properly on camera so this one obviously is a double breasted one it comes with a button here six different buttons here on the both sides and it comes with a buckle belt and then on the sleeves as well it has got a buckle sleeve which you can adjust which is good and yeah that is what it looks like on the front bit it comes with a really deep pockets and on the back this is what it looks like on the back it has got stone flap on the back and it doesn't have a pleat at all but it has got like a cut out here this is actually quite good i would say the fit is so so good it flatters my body i love the length it is not too short or not too long either but the only thing i don't like about petite one is that you know it is flattering but there isn't much flow around this area here if you can see it's just like a normal trench but with less flow and that is why i don't pick up you know <laughs> petite coats at all normally i would go for normal one um i don't have any petite coats in my wardrobe at all so this has to be the first one and yeah so this is what it looks like and i would always recommend you guys even if you are petite always be bold and you know think out of box try to be and um, you know very brave and go for other range like not just petite just don't keep yourself in that petite range and say oh i'm petite and I, i'm just gonna buy petite um trousers obviously definitely recommend petite and sometimes i don't even wear petite trousers you know me and yeah so be bright be bold even though as a rule of thumb fashion people say don't wear double breasted for petite ladies but you know i don't follow any rules i just go with whatever i feel comfortable in and whatever floats my boat so yeah this one is good obviously if you are interested then i would definitely definitely recommend this very impressed with this one really good the fit is good like i said before i love it the shoulder you know seam finishes at the right spot here so that is good i love this one but i'm not too sure if i'll buy petite one um trench wise i love my trends to be little bit long more floor now i'm wearing the new look one which is 39.99 you know what i'm so impressed with this one it is as good as the zara ones and i'm gonna show you zara one next oh my god 39.99 so cheap really really cheap for a trench i am so impressed with the quality as well and it, it is again a good quality honestly it is so so good i'm so impressed this is actually out of four this is my second favorite i must say i love it Again, this is double breasted, comes with a six button like uh, ASOS one, comes with a buckle belt. It has again got two deep pockets, which is really nice. The length is very impressive. I'm really, really impressed. This is just a normal trench coat like I was saying earlier. The length for the pitted ladies is so good. Look at this. This comes right below my, if you can see, knee area, which is so, so good. I love the length of this trench coat. 
I must give like thumbs up for the length. Again, on the back it has got storm flap. Here, this is storm flap, but this one is attached to the trench for some reason. And it has got a cutout here at the bottom. I really, really love this. It is so flattering on my body, I would say. It makes me look taller. And one of the reasons why I was saying to you guys, don't go for a petite range, is that normally petite ones are quite short. I have actually not found a really good trench coat in petite, a longer version. So, you know, always go for a longer length. It will make you look much more taller than you are. I used to get scared of wearing longer coats and I used to stay away from it. But then I started to you know, experiment always experiment with this style always experiment you know what suits you you might never know what suits you so yeah and i started experimenting and then now i love it i've got so many long coats in my wardrobe that i absolutely love so yeah this one is really really good good value for money i would say this one is actually the bang for buck among these four items that i'm showing okay my ladies this is the zara was and unfortunately i bought this oversized this and asos one which i didn't tell you at the start and um you know zara size is so confusing like sometimes i can fit in extra small small and medium when it comes to coats so it's so confusing for me last time when i bought coat uh, from Zara in winter I actually bought in medium size so this time when I was shopping online for trench I was like sure sure you know I was like medium one fit me unfortunately uh, I can't comment on fit now because <laughs> it is too big for me see ladies that is how much big it is but anyway I'm going to talk about oh my god this would have looked so nice if I bought you know right size but unfortunately I didn't buy the right size Anyway, I'm going to put this on and again, this one is double breasted with six button fasting and comes with a waist belt, doesn't have a buckle. This is nice and yeah, that is what it looks like and you also have like a cute non-adjustable sleep belt here, which is cute. I love the color. Oh my God, the fabric feels so soft. Oh, I love it. It feels so silky, so soft. Oh, this is beautiful and the pockets are really really deep my hands are like literally there my ladies so yeah this is really really good lovely lovely material again so nice love it and let me show you on the back doesn't have flap and this is just a simple one doesn't have a cut out either so yeah just a simple one genuinely I feel like this is so so good all of these items are really really good Obviously, yeah, this one is my third favorite uh, if I have to choose um, out of those four. So yeah, I love it. Love the quality so much. Again, the length is perfect. It comes right below the knee area. So yeah, it's a perfect size for petite ladies. So this is why I was saying to you all, you should, you know, go for normal one rather than the petite one. You saw the petite one earlier, but this one, look at the sleeves. It, it's just very soft, silky, flowing. Even um, this part here is very flowing. I love it. I love when it is quite flowy. Ladies, this is the one I bought again oversized. Unfortunately, I thought this would be, you know, fit me, but unfortunately I can't comment on the fit of this one trench. This one is actually oversized. This is why I got it absolutely wrong, but I love it. Look at the length. The length is actually right above my ankle, which I love. Some people might not like it, but I actually love it. At the moment, it's looking too big on me, I know, but this one is actually not double breasted for a change, and this one has got only single buttons. This is what it looks like. Obviously, this is going to be quite big on me. This is the belt. It comes with a waist belt, which is removable again. And it has got this uh, cute buckle, not really buckle, but button up, you know, sleeve, which is non adjustable. It comes with like a button up strap here, which is called epaulets, and which was actually used by military people, interesting fact, to put their gloves here and leave it like that. So that is one interesting fact. And this one is a bit oversized on me at the moment. I bought actually size 10, can you believe that? <laughs> really, really bad decision. Um, I would say for petite ladies, go like two sizes down. And also another thing I really, really wanna say is that don't be afraid of wearing long coats. I know I said that before. You might feel like, oh, I will get drowned in it. I'll get swamped in it. But honestly, don't worry. As long as, you know, if you are happy about the length and it looks good on you 
go for it it will make you look taller honestly believe me i am telling you from experience actually yeah so on the back it has got that flap again and it has got cut out here so this is what it looks like i think it will look better if i put my sleeves on and like this and if i actually hold on ladies let me do something and this is what i'm going to talk next okay how to wear your trench coat so yeah i think this looks much more better so this is my absolute favorite 80 pounds quite expensive to be honest uh, for asus one um, 80 pound but for the quality the quality is really really good it's 98 percent cotton very impressive and yeah i love it it's so nice oh this is my favorite oh my god i'm going to get this in size eight <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm thinking maybe size 6 because this is oversized, okay? And I told you to go two sizes down. So size 6 should be perfect for me. And yeah, the ladies, I'm done with modeling and I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to now talk about how to wear your trench. So. Okay, so now, as promised, I'm going to show you all how to wear trench coat. And uh, you might actually know a few of these tricks, but anyway, I'm going to show you. The first is to button up, obviously, and you can just button up your trench all this button that you have and yeah that is what you can do next one obviously is to do something uh, very different with um, your belts with them instead of doing the buckle you know you can actually tie it up just like this so just tie it up like that and it just looks much more you know cheek rather than just normally how everybody does it so another one obviously i'm not wearing a long sleeve but if you're wearing long sleeve it will look so so nice you can just pull this up your sleeve and just wear it like that it looks so much more different look at that and you can show off your watch as well if you got really nice watch <laughs> Anyway, obviously I'm joking um, about that showing off watch part, but anyway, yeah, this is how it looks like. Really, really good. By the way, if you are, you know, wondering which trench coat I'm wearing, I'm wearing the new look one. I would have worn the ASOS one, but unfortunately it is too oversized, so I can't wear that one. And next one is Colora EGPZ. Okay, so another thing you can do with the wrist belt is, um, this one is quite short. I wish I had, you know, the longer one, but anyway. You can actually on the back, you can tie it on the back like that. If you have a longer waist belt, then you can actually make it into bow. Unfortunately, I don't have a longer one. You can just do this, tie a double knot if you want. And obviously on the front, it will look a bit tight like this. And if you feel comfortable, then do that. But I don't like to do that. So I'm going to take the buttons off and show you. So this is what it looks like now. You know when you tie on the back here, it just makes your trench look much more structured and it's nice actually. And I like to do that most of the time. It just looks very different again. You kind of like take a trench and make it your own personal, you know, style. Another one is to get a scarf like this, big one, and just fold this over so I folded this big scarf now and as you can see this is what it looks like and now I'm going to put this over and hide that big color so this is what it looks like at the moment you can leave it like this or if you prefer you can actually you know just make it like this and go out but I like to do it in a different way so now next thing I'm going to do is get a belt and put this belt on the waist so I'm using this you can use any sort of belt you can use like a bigger belt if you prefer but I'm using a small one for now and I'm going to create like a gap in here if you prefer you can just close that gap it's all personal choice I prefer to have a gap in between so this is what it looks like and you can just go out wearing you know this way as well which is quite a different way to wear a trench the last one I have for you is just take this scarf off leave this here for a bit and adjust adjust until you guys are happy so I'm going to put this belt in this way 
so this is how you can add a bell thank you very much for watching i hope you really enjoyed this video and yeah you find this useful i'll see you on my next one take care bye cheerio